Hello and welcome to the third <coughs> installment of the Blender tutorial. Is it third? Fourth? Oh, no, I think it's third. Um, yeah, so first things first, I don't know how to solve this microphone issue. So I'm going to have to look into it um, and try and fix it because uh, I know this is an issue. Uh, a lot of you cannot hear me. Um, so just try and increase the volume or something. I'm, I am trying to fix it, but there's no way of me basically increasing my microphone volume but i will try and fix it so yeah but anyway let's get into blender so today's video is about importing as the title suggests and um yeah so it's not going to be very long um but i just good to get this out of the way because a lot of people will end up importing models because they want to see how things look like and maybe they want to modify something especially if you want to mod trucks this is probably the video for you but this is for everyone so yeah so, as you can see in the menu, you can import stuff into Blender. And without SCS tools, most people will be importing, I don't know, .fbx, .object. Um, I think SVGs can also be imported. You know, you can import whatever mod you want from the internet. The models you get from the internet will usually be this file structure. But if you go into the Euro Truck Simulator files, if I go into let's say a model or something, an aircraft, you'll see that the models are not .object or .fbx or whatever, they're .pmd, so essentially SCS have their own proprietary file type for models, animations and quite a few other things and it's because they can essentially code certain things into this type of file because Obviously, you need all the properties of the model and everything. A dot object is not going to give that to you. So that's why they have their own way of doing things. But if you notice, if you try and import... So remember, guys, watch the previous video to install SCS tools. Otherwise, you will not have this. But you'll see that all they have is dot PIM. And you're like, oh, what happened to PMD? Um, the thing is, Blender cannot read dot PMD, dot PMG pma etc they can only read dot pit dot pim and you need conversion tools to do that which you've installed before now if you installed convertipix wrapper master as i told you to you have this dot scs thing which means you don't have to manually convert your pmds into pim which i'm not going to show because this is so much more efficient if you use this one here so it's very very simple okay all you have to do is click on this but before I do that I'm going to show you how this kind of works so I'm just going to open up a random random base folder um, hang on I'm just going to call this uh, base video so this is basically when you're importing something your files will go into the base folder I don't think I've told you about the base folder yet maybe I have um, but essentially it's where all your files will go when you're importing stuff. So I'm going to set the base here, so project base path. You don't have to do this if you don't want to, um, uh, but I would recommend just making a base folder uh, when you start a project. So here, I'm just going to select it and I'm going to show, I'm going to show you how the importing works. Okay, so this is the main part of the video. <laughs> this is literally all you have to do. File, import, go to the last option here, .scs. And now, you want to find the .scs file, literally. So the, maybe it's a mod, you find the, the mod uh, file. So let me just show you. So most of you will probably go into the Eurotruck Simulator folders. And literally, you just go here, base.scs, whatever you want, DLC. You can import uh, flags, you can import, um, the yeah, again, the DLCs, the Chrome, uh, Chrome DLC, whatever. You can import it here. So most of you will probably go to base.scs. This is all the models of SCS assets, everything. What you do when you found your thing you want to import, you click on it and you press here, add archives to list. So what that will do, it will now allow Blender to access that file and you can see all the assets and everything. Okay, and you probably don't want to, you can, you if you want, if you want the textures, I would click this, so I'm going to click it, 
because you want the you want you want the textures to be dumped into that folder. So cl click that. If you don't want that and you just want the dot obgs, then obviously do that if you want. But I would always click this. It's very useful. Um, yeah, we've done that, and then yeah, you can see here. Do you want to import the bundle? Do you want to import the collisions, the animations, etc., etc.? You can all do that there, okay? And that speaks for itself. Then you just click import. And now you have this drop down menu where you can choose whatever file you want to import. So I'm just going to go to the model building, I don't know, <laughs> administration. I'll just click on uh, Orange Office. Now, if that corresponding file has an animation, um, you can also import that. So I'll just give you an example. Let's say I go to uh, a truck. So vehicle, truck go to my uh, least favorite truck and uh, let's say I do that okay truck.pmg if I go here I can find the corresponding one corresponding animation for that file so um, yeah here you go windows right you can import that as well alongside the model okay but we're just gonna go and import the uh, normal um, just a, an ordinary model made by SCS orange office okay and once you've clicked it you click the dot pmg and you just press ok and it's going to import everything if you if you've installed everything as i said in the last episode this should be fine there shouldn't be any problems now you can go into the render tab it will take a few seconds to load the textures but there you go it's all there textures ready you know you've got the collisions here as you can see you've got the shadows everything is here it's done for you okay so yeah now, if you did it the manual way, okay, I'm gonna um, install. Um, I'm gonna make the PMD into PIT. Then I'm gonna in import that. You will not get the textures because there's no there's no way of Blender knowing what textures you used. This is why this is the most efficient method of importing models. Okay, so here I've got my Orange Office. I can go to the materials. I can do what I want. Um, they're all here. All the um, materials, UV maps, etc., etc. Okay. Now what I'm going to show you is how it works. So if we go and find the that folder I made, you can see here it's dumped all the mo the files from that model into this folder. And you can see here it's got that file model building administration, and it's got the um, files there for you. P I M P I T. That's basically what this does. Okay. Now once you've imported the model, you can do whatever you want to it, and then just export it. And it's very simple, right? Um, now I'll do exporting in the next video, but I'm just going to show you. You can literally import a mod as well. I can go file import SCS, and I can go to my mod folder because I have a couple of models. Uh, <laughs> I don't know where it is though. Um, it's probably here. Documents, yeah, mod. So I have a number of models, for example. Um, so yeah, I can just uh, let's just. Um, I don't know, let's choose uh, this, you, and literally, this, okay, this is .zip, but it's the same thing, so you could have .scs, some mod, mods are made as a zip, so you can use it as well, and again, you just add it to the archive, you know, you can move it up a bit, um, but yeah, you can add as many mods and uh, .scs files as you want, and uh, yeah, it's really, really um, useful, isn't it, and yeah, so I've got all these things there, and what this will do is it will now expand the list to have the mod as well in it. So my mod is probably in model, um, I don't remember. Ah, oh, there it is. Okay. So that, that that's my model. It's, it's, no, it's not SCS, it's a different mod, different model. I can import that as well. Okay, so it's not just limited to SCS, you can use mods as well. Um, <laughs> this might take a while to load in. Yeah, there you, can, you can see here it's just importing everything and there you go that's my model i made that a couple of weeks ago and yeah it, it works fine all the textures are there everything's good so that is how you import okay it's very simple there's not much you have to do if you do that method okay so make sure you have that thing installed convert to pix wrapper which you did last time and if you have that it's very easy to import i can do whatever the hell i want with this i can um, move it, uh, <laughs> do what you want, 
and yeah, you can play around with SCS assets. And I actually encourage you to do this. So just go and choose whatever SCS asset you want and just import. I'm, I'm, you know what? I'm even going to import a truck. Let's do that. You know, because I just want to show you it's very, very flexible. Um, so I can just remove this now. I can import vehicle, truck. Let's import my favorite truck. Why don't we do that? Um, I don't know. What is my favorite? <laughs> I don't even know my favorite truck. Uh, I don't know. I, feel, I like the Volvo. Um, uh, there we go. Truck PMG. I can import it. It's going to take a while, obviously, because it's a lot of resources, lots of textures and everything, but yeah, your blender might not respond if your piece is not good enough. I mean, it's kind of, it's just how it is. Um, but there you go, look, I've got my model. Oh, and if you see these boxes, by the way, all you need to go is go into here, SES Tools, and just go in this. So this will show you the model. This will show you the, so this will show you the model. So there it is. You can get the shadows. Get the glass, you can see the glass. You've got static uh, collision, which is more to do with simple models. You got all your locators, model locators, and yeah, collision. But yeah, here, 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 here's the truck. I've literally imported it, all the textures are done, everything's there, and you can just modify it. Maybe you wanna you wanna make this bigger. I mean, I don't know if you're into this <laughs> stuff, but if you want that and you could you could just export it like this. So yeah, it's it's very simple. And uh, yeah, that is how you import. There's not much to it really. So yeah, if you've got any questions or issues, please put it in the comments. And um, to those people who say this video is too long, I don't care because the thing is, you've got to understand that there are beginners and they need time. Okay, they they need you guys need the explanations. I'm not gonna rush things. Okay, so if you can't be bothered to watch the whole video then why, why are you even starting to mod you know you're not gonna have the patience so just make sure you're always listening attentively to this video and use the SES wiki as well okay because modding is not easy especially in this game and yeah it, it takes a lot of work so I hope I hope I am helping you guys and yeah if you if you've got any questions ask in the comments or on the SES forum and yeah that was importing, and I'll see you next week for exporting, which I know all of you are waiting for. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.